Do you feel like uh, you're comfortable with what you have at safety as compared to the beginning of fall camp? Yeah, we're just getting we're getting a lot more seasoned. And there's going to be some young guys that are going to play for us. VJ Payne's going to play. Kendra Stagger's going to play. Guys that are new to the program. Um, Kobe Savage is going to play, although he was here in the spring, so we feel a little bit more comfortable with him. Drake Cheatham. Um, I mean, these guys are going to get going to get time, so I'm eager to see what they do on game day. But they're they're certainly impressive at practice. Josh, he's kind of emerging as the leader in that back end. He's such a yeah. He's just dynamite. He's just so mature, you know. I'm I, and you know he's been around um, championship teams and been around really great defenses. And I appreciate his perspective in the room. You know, just reinforcing all the things that us as coaches are trying to get through to these guys. And he's been a uh, living example of that. You know, he was a guy that. Uh, um, also played as a young guy. I remember Josh back when, uh, shoot, I can't remember the year. It's probably 2017. Uh, we were playing in the semifinal game at North Dakota State, and Josh was our third corner, I think, at the time. And both number one and number two got injured in the semifinal game, and he had to start in the national championship game. And that was his first start. And, uh, you know, he didn't back down from it at all. And I think he's trying to get some of that through to some of these younger guys now that are going to get their chance uh, on Saturday. How much do you think in, uh, Khalid Duke will be able to play game one? I think he's he's. Uh, I think his knee looks fine. I think he's been running around great. Um, I think his wind is uh, is pretty good. I won't say it's 100 percent yet. I think he's going to be a, a work in progress in that degree. But we plan on using him a lot. I mean, he's going to be a, a significant contributor here uh, right out of the gate. What do you want to learn the most about your unit on Saturday once the game is over? I want to. I want to find out. I, I feel like I know how Deuce Green's going to respond. I know how Eli Huggins is going to respond. I know how Julius Brents is going to respond. I want. I want to find out. Um, you know how some of these newer pieces are going to respond, and um, I, I, you know, all indications are they're going to respond just fine. But I, that's the biggest question mark is is, you know, as we continue to build trust throughout the year, trust within the unit, trust within each other. Um, those guys are going to have to to ball out on Saturday, so I'm I'm excited to turn them loose, see what they do. Practice time wraps. How do you manage the personnel looks to get different guys and different combinations in, but still get that consistency you're yeah. looking for? You know, that's something we, we spend a lot of time. This certain guy needs to see this look. He hasn't seen this look for three days. We need to get that. That's that's the deal. I mean, that's why we that's why we show up at five thirty. You know, that's why we do what we do. And and uh, um, you know, I, I think one thing that our guys have gotten so much better at since we've been here is learning when they're not in. You know, I think back uh, even a couple of years ago, guys were just interested in what they were doing. Coach, I watched myself, and now it's turning into, Coach, I'm, I'm, I saw so-and-so had this. This is what I was thinking. Is that correct? You know, it, it, they're putting themselves more in the position instead of just putting themselves in their own skin, which is, which is a sign of maturity. Last time we talked to you, you said the defense last year played good because they weren't always right, but they played good because they played fast. You know, Do you feel like you have the ability to be right a lot more now? I do. I think we understand it a lot more. I think as coaches, we understand it a lot more. I, um, you know, la I, I don't know if I use this example or not, but last year I think there was even times on third down where we spent so much time in the offseason developing the base down package that third down was sometimes just a hodgepodge of things. And it was learned week to week. And maybe that was part of the reason why we weren't as good on third down because it wasn't very consistent from week to week. Um, I think we've developed that package a little bit better. We've developed our own uh, – coaching points, you know, teaching aspects to each call better as coaches. And I think that's translating to the kids. And, and I think, yeah, the, the more they get time on the grass, the, the better we're going to be. Do you feel personnel-wise you're better suited now with with the changes you were able to make in the offseason? I think I think we're more athletic as a group. Um, I think we're older as a group, which I think is, is uh, a big deal. Um, you know, you take a guy like Felix even last year. Felix was a young player. You know, he had a sensational year, but he was just a he was he was green as grass last year. And um, you know, just putting another year on him, another year on Nate Matlack, another year on Austin Moore, another you know, all these guys are better players than what they were. Forget about it. Deuce Green is a better player than what he was last year. I mean, it's uh, um, so you know, you couple that with some of the uh, some of the athletes that we brought in here too. You know, and some of the guys that I think like Josh Hayes that can really run and. Um, you know, I, I'm excited with the personnel. Is there a rush package that you might look at it's more top secret, top secret than government documents these days? Are you, are you <laughs> you're asking me if there's a top secret uh, program? I can neither yeah. confirm nor deny uh, anything. No, I, uh, um, you know, as, as we get going in the season, we're definitely interested in, in showing more looks. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Is there a <laughs>
is there a certain phase where you think South Dakota can test you the most? Yeah, I think, you know, what, what's uh, the, the consistency that South Dakota has in their program um, from what they've done offensively, I think, uh, and the veterans that they have, it's, it's concerning. You know, I mean, they're, they're not, they're going to come in and execute what they do. And, and they've seen every picture a thousand times, I'm sure. And so, um, you know, in order for us to win, we're going to have to, we're going to have to play with speed. We're going to have to execute ourselves. We're going to have to identify pictures. We're going to have to tackle well. And, um, you know, this is certainly no rollover at all. Sure, what he did last season, are you expecting Felix to see a lot more double teams and special blocks to keep him away from quarterbacks? I, I, I do. Um, you know, the, 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 the cool thing is we've got some pretty good ones uh, around him also, you know, so it's not like uh, he's a one-man gang out there. I think he's going to get his attention for sure, and I'm hoping that benefits Nate Matlack, Khalid Duke, you know, Brandon Mott, whoever. And uh, so that's that's uh, that's a cool aspect of where we're at right now, personnel-wise. We've probably seen the least of Brendan Mott. What kind of makes him tick and makes him in the rotation right now? Just extreme motor, extreme effort, energy guy, um, always right. You know, one of those kind of guys. I mean, he's he's the epitome of Kansas State to me. I mean, he is a guy that's earned it every step of the way. You know, a guy from a guy that. Uh, you know, was a walk-on because he was just simply not big enough to play, and now he's 245 pounds, and he's you know strong, and um, I mean he's he's you know he, he there couldn't be a better uh, representation of, of who we are at Kansas State than Brendan Mott. How does Sean Robinson handle the switch from safety to? The I think really naturally because he is uh, you know that's what he played uh, uh, at Missouri prior and, and you know he's played that position saw a lot of the same keys a lot of the same alignments as what he's doing now and so he's been um, I think that came a little bit more natural to him than safety did to be honest with you so it's been a pretty seamless between the three freshmen you have on the two Ethan Jake Cliff and Jacob Parrish and VJ Payne how much do you anticipate those guys seeing the field I think all three of them will see significant time um, I think um, and I think they're all ready you know, I, you know, we, in, we didn't gift it to them. I mean, there there are other guys in the program that are capable. You know, they they earned it. All three of them did. You know, uh, Jake Clifton's probably one of the smartest. I, I shouldn't even single him out. All three of them are, are just extremely intelligent. But just uh, picking up what they've picked up in that short amount of time that they've been able to to work with us is is awesome. And you know, you couple that with the extreme athleticism that all three of them have, and you know, it's it's exciting for the future. When are you thinking Will Honus will be able to play again? Um, you know, uh, I think he's a couple weeks yet. Um, we'll see. You know, it, it's kind of a week to week thing. Um, I, I'm it's an outside possibility uh, of of it being sooner, but I, I would think it'd be a couple weeks yet. USD quarterback camp. What could he do to cause you guys some problems? Well, I think he. I think he's pretty good with football. I think he understands where he wants that thing to go, and and I think he manages it really well. Uh, he keeps plays alive, and um, you know he's not afraid to take his shots. Certainly, and so uh, you know I always get nervous when those veteran guys come in here that have played a lot of football, and he's uh, you know he's got that on his resume. Joe, we had thought for one or two more catbackers in June, and you were talking about how you know. This defense has some potential. Mm -hmm. Now that the time is here, just how excited are you for this defense? It's still potential right now. You know, I mean, until we actually put it on the grass, I don't want to say anything. You know, we, we've got to go out there and earn it, and I think that we've made that clear to them from the outset that this is not necessarily a carryover from what the 2021 20, team was. This is a whole new group of guys, and, you know, we, we can carry that legacy with us, but that's not our team. We've got to go out there and we've got to execute. We've got to get off the field. We've got to keep points off the board. We've got to get the ball back to our offense. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm extremely excited about this group, but, uh, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Have you guys been able to make it through the week fairly healthy relative to how you started the week? Yeah, yeah, we've been, uh, we've been good. We've been, uh, and we've been practicing hard. And I think uh, um, athletically, I think, the fact that we can keep more guys on their feet during practice certainly uh, keeps us away from some of those soft tissue uh, uh, ankles and whatever that, that might happen.